Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm making this video both as a uh, update for everyone on what I've been up to and as a submission video for an Epic's Pick Island, which is my most recent island. This is called Ramen Shop Defense. And for anyone who doesn't know, I've been hooked on Fortnite devving recently. You can create a game using Unreal Engine for Fortnite or even just the Fortnite creative uh, program and uh, create a game and publish it directly into the Fortnite platform and have people play it without having to code the server or the multiplayer aspects or anything like that. Uh, Fortnite has provided a just a variety of different devices and things that you can use to create a game and have it playable by people all around the world with a huge player base, by the way. And it, it is all extremely easy and uh, much, much easier than creating an entire game from scratch. That's for sure. So I've been absolutely hooked on it lately. And this is my most recent creation. It's called Ramen Shop Defense, and it is an endless wave of zombies game where you the player and a group of up to four friends take the role of happy world ramen shop employees who woke up this morning to the zombie apocalypse and uh, at the beginning of the game you're greeted with a nice little cinematic and shown you wake up here you can see how to play in the screen here and uh, you're shown your career saved stats so these are kind of the highlight of the game you have a way of tracking and leveling up your supply drops and your neighbor loyalty levels every time you call in support from your neighbors they're gonna be more loyal to you and bring more team members with them next time you call them and your supply drops can get uh leveled up as well you're earning currency with every a zombie that you eliminate and with every ramen delivery that you make and you're also earning skill points with every zombie eliminated and ramen delivery that you make so the currency is spendable and the skill points are not but are required for higher level tiered upgrades of your airdrops and that's kind of the breakdown of the systems of the stats in the game and that's the driving force behind playing the game and getting farther and farther in these rounds because when the game starts the player wakes up to the zombie apocalypse and is immediately rushed to the bunker where the guns and explosives have been kept on lockdown and it's kind of been a, a joke of ours about the story of this place and uh, we, we've kind of got a, a little backstory going but i'll share that a different day and uh ty here is the tech guy he's working on unlocking the guns so the guns and explosives in the bunker unlock uh on a time schedule according to the rounds that are going by so as the rounds are increasing every three rounds a, a new gun case opens or a few gun cases opens and lets the player have access to a higher tier of weapons so also while the rounds are progressing the player is being shown objectives about how to make their way upstairs to spend their earned monies on supply drops and uh, on calling for support. So, on they to order, <laughs> I apologize. The reason you would want to order supply drops is to keep all necessities in stock, and it does cost monies, and you upgrade supply drop contents for better loot which costs monies but requires skill points. So basically, any time that the player is out of ammo or wants a really good guns, they are going to need to come up here and order supply drops. There's a nice little interface that I had created here. I would love to show you that actually as well. Go ahead and open up some of this stuff. Like I said, for anybody who's interested in learning UEFN or how to make a game in Fortnite, I highly encouraged learning this it's been amazing and a really really good start to learning um so i've got some screens that i created here for like this is for ordering up uh, uh ground support so 
when you order ground support here, which each time an ally is called, their loyalty increases to the player who called, and with more loyalty, allies bring more of their team, and higher power allies cost more monies. So there's an entire system for calling in support on helping you fight off these waves of zombies that are getting increasingly more difficult as the waves increase. So I've found the game to get really tough right around round 10. And if the player is not actually actively calling in support and uh, upgrading their guns and actually playing the game, they will fail. And the failure condition here is when Sasha, who is the owner of the ramen shop, Sasha runs the ramen shop, and she is patrolling the kitchen in guard stance with her weapons for this entire ordeal. And the objective of, of the game is to keep Sasha alive, and that is the failure condition. So if, if Sasha falls, the entire round ends, and it starts a new round. And uh, yeah, that's about the gist of the game. The other big thing is that... Uh, Hungry customers around town need ramen, and Chef is constantly screaming at the player when ramen is ready to be served. It appears in the window here, and the player is sent on a ramen delivery, and the ramen delivery rewards lots of skill points to the player and monies for the entire team, but can definitely be dangerous. There are quite a few uh, extra added zombies they are quite dangerous out and about in the world so that's a fly through of the mechanics uh i apologize if i'm rambling here i'll go ahead and try to fly through the world a little bit let's go ahead and turn the camera speed down so it's not so uh, drastic here this is happy world ramen shop and the map here was made by kaiju kims and she did an amazing job she does uh, almost all of her work in creative and most of the time when she wanted something done in UEFN like the landscaping and the splines she would just come to me and say hey can you make me the road can you make me the sidewalks and the landscapes here and so I did a little bit of the landscape painting and the uh, sidewalks for the map and the roads in UEFN but almost everything else was done in creative here and she made these buildings completely from scratch and I know that the other buildings were uh, prefabs that are highly edited the happy world ramen shelf itself was a highly edited prefab and uh, provides a really really great setting for this zombie apocalypse especially at night you can see all the buildings around the edges of the map shining with their lights through the fog and it just provides this really eerie amazing scene there's actually, a, I'm just, I allowed the game to follow uh, the basic day-night cycle. And for that reason, it just is really so amazing uh, during the sunrise and the sunset after you feel like you've made it through a, a really intense wave of zombies and you have a moment of respite. There are also some NPC characters. This is Dave. He runs Dave's Dancers. Uh... Dave's he has a dance studio and he is one of the allies that you can call assistance in from and gain loyalty from Kathy she runs a cafe and this is her little setup here and you can make you are ordered to make deliveries to these folks and also they can reward you after a quick dialogue sequence with a few uh, extra rewards supplies for the player and there's all kinds of little ramen deliveries uh, throughout town. Let's see here. Let's turn off game view for just a moment. And we can see there's, uh, there's players. I'm sorry. There's objectives uh, that are non-player characters that uh, are ramen deliveries all throughout. Quite actually uh, a large play area here. You can see that's the Der Burger over there. And then we've got a nice large lot area that has a few deliveries in it. Nice few buildings over on the edges of town here that uh, provide for really great delivery opportunities for the ramen. 
and there are some little easter eggs stashed out and about like uh, vehicles to find and weapons to find and stuff like that so that is about the gist of it if you want to play this game if you're not epic and you're watching this on my channel please go ahead and uh give it a play at the code in the description and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and for your consideration and I really enjoy everything that uh, I've been doing with UEFN and Fortnite Creative. Again, I highly recommend it for any devs who want to jump in and just get started creating games that people can play right away. So thank you again. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.